during remote connection the connection is successful but it says password is required so yeah you can use any type of password well let's say you say the connection is successful but it says password is acquired hmm. well it wouldn't be successful it would not oh you mean like you're able to connect but it's asking for a password well here's just a regular remote desktop session okay and what you need to do here you have a couple of options uh, you can use your local uh, local admin account or any local account that's allowed to use remote desktop on this computer so so for example we're connecting to a computer named kobo man right where when you connect to it you get a pop-up and it's asking me to log in so what am i going to do and i can select use different account this is what you would normally see and if you're on a domain then you use your domain login so you type in your domain login if you're an administrator and then you type in your password and then you click ok and it should work fine normally all right assuming that you have domain privileges or administrator privileges for the for that entire domain right this is all replicated remember how i talked about replicating the main passwords on your on your computer whenever you change it well you know once your computer is connected to the domain or the same network it's going to know that you are part of the domain so if you use your administrator domain credentials then you should be able to remote into any computers just using your regular domain login and password alternatively you may have to type in local uh, local admin id in this my, in my case it's it's kobo main but i'm going to type it in so it's easier to understand local local admin or just any profile so it could be just just as long as it's a local one and it has administrative privileges then uh, or the ability to remote in then you should be able to uh, access it now you may you know this you just have to make sure that that person and that computer is able to initiate remote desktop support the, the remote session to begin with which in this case it is and in your case it is you just get this pop-up so the same difference local admin and then you have to figure out what the password is for that then you just type it in connect that's pretty simple okay so i'm going to say reply you can use well i'm going to say you you have two options to use rdp which means remote desktop protocol well what i just showed you one is use your domain login make sure it's an admin login uh, number two is use local admin login or any local profile that they can uh, that's allowed to connect remotely to it okay i think i'm gonna i think i'm gonna leave it at that okay all right moving on again this is just a uh, you know more of a like a question but you would basically talk to the, you know, it's given at this point, since this is a 17th video in the series, that you might want to talk to somebody who is needing help at any moment.